Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, that has been divided into two triangles, uh, such that uh, this angle uh, ABD is uh, X, whereas this angle uh, ACB is uh, 2X, and this uh, side length uh, CD is uh, Y units and this uh, side length uh, AD is uh, 2 times Y units. And now we are going to calculate uh, this angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABD. And now we know that this is our 90 degree angle and this is our angle X. And we want to figure out this angle. I'm going to call this angle alpha. And now let's recall a triangle sum theorem. The sum of the three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore the sum of all these three angles must be equal to 180 degrees. So let me go ahead and write down 90 degrees plus angle alpha plus x is equal to 180 degrees. Subtract 90 degrees from both sides, this is gone. So therefore alpha plus x turns out to be 90 degrees on the right hand side. Let me go ahead and move this x on the right hand side. So our angle alpha turns out to be 90 degrees minus X. So therefore our this angle alpha turns out to be 90 degrees minus X. So therefore our this angle ADB turns out to be 90 degrees minus X. And here in this uh, next uh, step uh, we have drawn this uh, right triangle uh, AEB by extending this uh, line segment uh, AD by 2y over here. And now let's focus on these two right triangles ABD and this right triangle EBA. We can see that this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees as well. Moreover, this side length AD is 2 times y and this side length EA is 2 times y as well. And finally, this side length a, B is in common between these two triangles. So therefore we conclude that these are two triangles A, B, D and this other triangle A, E, B are congruent triangles according to side angle side congruency theorem. And since these two triangles are congruent, so therefore this angle has got to be equal to this uh, angle. So therefore our this angle uh, AEB turns out to be 90 degrees minus X. And finally if this angle is X, this angle has got to be X as well. As you can see over here, our angle ABE is X. And now in this uh, next step let's focus on this uh, big uh, triangle EBC whose angles are 90 degrees minus X. 2x and let me go ahead and label this whole angle as our angle theta. And now let's recall this uh, triangle sum theorem once again. The sum of three interior angles in a triangle uh, is 180 degrees. So therefore let me go ahead and add all these three angles. 2x plus this angle plus angle theta. So let me go ahead and write down uh, angle 2x plus angle uh, 90 degrees minus x plus this angle theta they must be equal to 180 degrees. Now let's go ahead and subtract 90 degrees from both sides this is gone and here if we combine these two angles 2x minus x that is going to give us angle x plus theta on the left hand side equals to on the right hand side is going to give us 90 degrees. Now let's go ahead and move this uh, x on the right hand side. So therefore our angle uh, theta turns out to be 90 degrees minus uh, 
x so therefore our this angle theta turns out to be 90 degrees minus x and now let's go ahead and make an observation in this big triangle ebc we can see that this whole angle is equal to this angle both of them are 90 degrees minus x so therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, ebc is an isosceles uh, triangle in other words uh, this side length uh, is equal to this side length in other words uh, this uh, ec is going to be equal to bc and now we can see that this whole uh, side length uh, ec is going to be y plus 2y plus 2y that is going to give us uh, 5y and if this side length is 5y then this side length bc has got to be 5y as well so therefore our this side length bc turns out to be 5y and here's our next step let's focus on this triangle abc now we know it's this side length bc is 5y and this uh, side length uh, AC is going to be Y plus 2Y that is going to give us uh, 3Y. And now we want to figure out uh, this uh, side length uh, AB. So we are going to apply the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call our longest leg as our side C. I'm going to call this side A and this side b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula a we don't know a i'm going to write down a square b in our case is uh, 3y whole square equal to c in our case is uh, 5y whole square so this could be written as a square plus uh, 9y square equal to 25 y square let's go ahead and subtract a 9y square from both sides this is gone so a square turns out to be 16y square let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides so a turns out to be equal to 4y so therefore our this side length a turns out to be 4y and now let me show you an alternative method. Instead of using this uh, Pythagorean theorem, we could have used this uh, Pythagorean uh, triplets, three, four, and uh, five. In other words, in this uh, right triangle ABC, if this side length is uh, three Y, this is five Y, this has got to be four times Y. And here's our final step. Let's recall uh, this uh, so Toa and let's uh, go over this sine of theta equal to opposite over uh, hypotenuse so therefore if in this uh, triangle abc if i call uh, this whole angle uh, theta then this side is going to be opposite and this is longest leg is going to be our hypotenuse so therefore sine of uh, our angle uh, theta is going to be opposite in our case is uh, 4y and hypotenuse is 5y let me go write down 4y divided by 5y and here we can see this y and y is gone so therefore sine of theta turns out to be equal to 0 0.8 on the right hand side let's go ahead and write it down as theta equal to sine inverse of 0 0.8 so therefore our angle theta turns out to be approximately equal to 53.13 degrees but we know our angle theta is equal to 2x so i'm going to replace this theta by 2x so therefore i can write 2x is approximately equal to 53.13 degrees Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2. So therefore, our angle X is going to be approximately equal to 26.57 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be 26.57 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.